Welcome to the Industry Intelligence Impact Report Deep Dive. I'm your host, Nevin Barich. This week's topic, U.S. restaurants reopening for dine-in service. It started, and now it's stopping again. Over the past several weeks, cases of coronavirus in the country have once again surged to more than 50,000 a day, with more than two-thirds of states reporting increases in COVID-19. Public health officials and scientists who warned repeatedly that a spike would occur if states opened too early and people didn't follow social distancing guidelines, say two of the main reasons for this increase are states opening too early and people not following social distancing guidelines. In the process, the restaurant industry's plan to reopen establishments for dine-in service was halted across numerous states and cities, as noted in the following headlines from Industry Intel's Impact Report. June 22nd. Maine Governor Janet Mills announces that the state is postponing the reopening of indoor service at bars because of concerns about the higher risk of COVID-19 transmission in such settings. June 30th, surge of new COVID-19 cases across the U.S. prompting several states, including Texas, North Carolina, Nevada, and New Jersey, to temporarily reverse or pause their restaurant reopening plans. June 30th, New Jersey governor halts plans to restart indoor dining on July 2nd and postpones the move indefinitely, attributing the change to finding some restaurants are overcrowded and many people are not wearing masks, leading to concerns about rise in COVID-19 cases. July 1st, California and New York City are among the U.S. states and cities postponing or pulling back indoor dining rules amid rise in coronavirus cases. California requiring closure of indoor operations for three weeks at restaurants in 19 of the state's 58 counties. And finally, from July 1st, McDonald's halts its dining room reopenings in the U.S. for the next three weeks, citing rise in coronavirus cases. The company has opened about 2,200 dining rooms. Now, interestingly enough, the pause in reopening actually reflects the feelings of many restaurant operators and customers. Consider these headlines. June 15th, 55% of operators with temporarily closed restaurants say there's not enough customers to justify reopening. June 26, just 12% of U.S. consumers plan to dine in a restaurant immediately as states reopen. 20% plan to do so within a few weeks, while 68% plan to wait a month or longer. And from July 2nd, 52% of Americans say they would feel very uncomfortable or somewhat uncomfortable dining in a restaurant or bar over the next three months due to the coronavirus pandemic. Now, U.S. restaurants face two glaring issues, reopening safely and convincing customers that it's safe to return. It's going to take time, and some restaurants, particularly small establishments and chains, may not have the time it takes. They need to find or increase alternative avenues of business, such as delivery service. But even that might not be enough to hang on. Tough times indeed remain ahead. Thanks for listening to the Industry Intelligence Impact Report Deep Dive.